Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today, we're at the Bahia Principe Grand Punta Cana and we're here at Orchidea, which is like orchids, um, which is the name of the buffet. We're gonna take a tour through here at breakfast. So full disclosure, Bahia Principe did invite us out and covered the cost of our stay. So thank you, Bahia Principe. We're gonna start over at the main buffet area here with some cold food options. So over here we have some fresh salads, some lettuce, some cucumber, tomatoes, green peppers, and some dressings to go make yourself a nice salad. Here we have some uh, jams, strawberry jam, guava jam, pineapple jam, some yogurt, make yourself a little um, fruit yogurt. So just beside that we have some fresh mussels, there's some octopus, um, some tuna, and then we have some caviar and then some, or sorry, some um, uh, calamari and then some more tuna here at the end. And there's some uh, kind of like herb oils and things you can put here on your seafood. So just across from that, there's a small bread station here with a toaster that you can toast some bread. There's some hams here with some um, small things like pickles and a little carrot salad. As you can see, the hams are quite popular here. They've been picked over a little bit. Beside that, there's some cheese and some chorizo sausage, some more uh, cucumber, grilled peppers, eggplant, and some carrots. Just beside that we have some chocolate milk and cold milk in these big containers. There's some pork and usually there's some ham here but it's, been, uh, re it's being replenished right now. Same with these cereals right here that they're replenishing. So just on the other side here where the cereals are, there's a uh, muffin station here. And then just beside that there's some uh, packaged yogurt with some vanilla. I think it's just a vanilla yogurt they have at the moment. Over here we have some cheeses. We have some uh, Gouda cheese, Danish cheese, cheddar cheese all throughout here. And then on this side we have some turkey ham, some more cheese, chicken ham, um, and then some cream cheese spreads here. So cream cheese with herbs, cream cheese with um, black uh, fish eggs, cream cheese with parsley, and just some regular cream cheese. And then a few uh, donut options here, and then some bagels right beside this toaster. Over on this side, across from all the uh, across from all the yogurts and such, we have some fresh fruit. There's some uh, melon and pineapple. We have some watermelon, and then some uh, more fresh fruit options, which is much of the same just further down here. And then just beside that, we have some skimmed milk, tomato juice, and then there's some milk alternative options, like almond milk and soy milk. And then uh, beside the soy milks, there's some um, fresh melon juice, watermelon juice, and pineapple juice. I think this is a papaya juice, and the, the pineapple juice is missing at the moment. All right, so just um, on the other side of these islands we just toured here, there's like a nice little stand here to kind of indicate the gluten-free section. So this is the biggest gluten-free section we've seen. Uh, there's a few different cookie options and some bread options, and then some cereals here at the top as well. All right, so we're gonna take a little tour of the uh, back section where most of the hot food is located. So we'll start here. This is supposed to be uh, sausages, but they're being replenished at the moment. Here we have some uh, purple yams. We have some beef strips with onion. We have some uh, a small little selection of ham and cheese sandwiches. And then some grilled tomatoes with Parmesan cheese. Just beside that, we have some fried sweet potatoes with um, onion and peppers, some beans, grilled carrots or steamed carrots, and then we have some eggplant and some French toast. Wrapping around the other side of this little island here, we have some oats and then some chocolate milk with some sugar and cinnamon. Okay, over on this side we have some hard-boiled eggs. Um, again, it seems like sausage is pretty popular here at this buffet because there's another one here that's empty. And then we have some grilled cabbage, some more, um, some fried salami, and then some corn on the cob. Over here we have some mashed plantain, stewed chicken, some mashed potatoes, scrambled eggs, which looks like it needs to be just refilled, so they're probably making some more of that right now. There goes the scrambled eggs, and I think here comes the new ones. All right, right on cue. And then some um, boiled potatoes with onions and peppers. And then finally over on this side, it's like a, kind of like a glazed ham, which we've been seeing at some of the other uh, buffets as well. We've got some melon um, and some dates on top too. Okay, so over here, there's an omelet station here with one of the chefs that'll uh, make you an omelet. So over here, we have like a uh, fresh smoothie station. So they'll make you a nice smoothie with all kinds of different fruit. And just beside that, we have some muffins, some croissants. Um, this looks like a, it's called a plum cake with chocolate. Kind of hard to see with the lighting there. 
And then over here we have some fresh vegetables like zucchini, some egg white omelet, some uh, chicken with uh, looks like zucchini and onion and pepper, and then finally an omelet with uh, vegetables. Over here is a bread station, so we have all kinds of different bread options like white, whole wheat, and then you can toast them here in this little toaster. And then just beside the toast station here we have some dessert options. We have some cinnamon rolls with icing sugar, some pastries, uh, all kinds of like different sweets here for dessert. Oh, I like these cinnamon rolls here, they look really good. And then over at the last station here we have some French toast, and then I think there's some pancakes and uh, churros here that are typically here, but they're just refreshing them at the moment. And in between here we have some different like syrups or jams to go along with it. So we've got some chocolate, Nutella, peanut butter, strawberry, and I think some honey here too. And then just beside that there's some fresh pancakes, there's some strawberry pancakes, and then some chocolate pancakes over here too, along with another bread station here just to spread things out a little bit. Over here we have some hard boiled eggs and some poached eggs. And then finally a, uh, another omelette station here which you can see some people waiting at and uh, they'll make you a nice fresh customized omelette. So that's going to do it for our breakfast tour here. So we're going to turn it over to the uh, dinner buffet to show you guys what kind of food offerings are here at dinner time. Alright, so now at the uh, dinner buffet here at uh, Bahir Principe Grand Punta Cana. I'll start off here with these soups here. So we've got uh, a garlic soup here and then a cream of asparagus soup and then there's some like little fixings you can add to your soups here. Over here there's like a customized salad station, all kinds of good stuff to add to a uh, salad. Lettuce, carrots, scallions, capers, tomatoes, all kinds of really good stuff. Over here we've got like a prepared vegetable salad already. Same thing with this pasta salad here. And I like how they just like bordered it with pineapples here too instead of a dish. So unique, very creative. Here there's a, a potato salad, an asparagus salad, I think. This is like a white asparagus. Usually the asparagus that we've had have been green, but I've not seen white asparagus before. Over here there's cucumber salad. And then some uh, dressings, some uh, dressings to fi finish up your salad here, or top off the salad. So we've got like a garlic sauce, a mustard, some vinaigrette, uh, aioli sauce, we have a Caesar, rosé, tartar sauce, and then a spicy green sauce. And then a couple uh, sauces here, vinaigrettes like in the bottles too, to add to your salad. Okay, so over here, the, a couple more cold dishes here. We've got some uh, cold meats or hams to add to your dish. We've got some turkey ham, smoked ham, York ham, chicken ham. We've got some Danish cheese, manchego cheese. Uh, this one's an Adam cheese, but not here at the moment. Mahon cheese, we got some, uh, this one just says cheese. So cheese cheese. <laughs> And then this one's a cheddar cheese. And then the blue cheese is supposed to be here, but it's also missing at the moment. We've got some cold cuts here. We've got some salamis and chorizo sausage. Some more cheeses decorated on the station here. And then some more uh, salami here. Just wrapping around the other side, we've got a gazpacho here tonight because it is Spanish themed night here at uh, Punta Cana. And uh, you can use some of these fixings here to decorate up your gazpacho. And over here, we've got another asparagus salad. And then uh, it's like arranged in like almost like a little heart pattern with these uh, cut up fruit. Looks great, I love that. And over here, we've got some new pork fillets coming in here. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, it looks good. All right. And then just to finish up the cold section, we got some watermelon, some pineapple, uh, papaya here. There's been, a, it's been quite popular because it's actually so good at these resorts. We've had definitely a lot of papaya since we've been here. Some pineapple. Um, sopadilla fruit, which um, I'm not super familiar with, but let us know in the comments if you know or had sopadilla fruit. Some melon and then some guava. Just finishing up here, we've got some, uh, it says some garnishes here. So we got some mango and I think some melon with syrup. And then some more uh, fresh chorizo sausage and a couple different cold dishes here. Carrots, cucumber, onions and, and so on. Alright, so on to some of the hot food now. We've got some uh, fresh red snapper to cut some uh, fresh fish off the uh, bone here for you. And there's some great little fixings along the, with the fish that was cooked along with it. And a nice little sauce to pair with it too. Over here we've got some uh, fresh grouper fish here, baked grouper. There's a little seafood casserole and then some marinated pumpkin. And then over here we've got some fried pork rinds. We've got some yuca 
which is really yummy. I really love yuca. Some chicken, we got some white rice, and then some uh, stewed green beans here. Over on this side, it's getting a little thin now, but coming towards the end of the evening, we got some fresh roasted leg of lamb. Looks delicious. Last piece, maybe. And then over on this side, we've got some chickpea stew, the rice with chicken. We've got some mussels, but they're being replenished right now. We've got some uh, roasted uh, baked chicken, and then uh, some, this is hockey fish, like a uh, baked fish here. Coming around the outside of the room now, we've got some fresh tuna here, and then some uh, sauces to go along with it here. Over here, this is definitely the seafood fish station. We've got some fresh dorade fish. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but D-O-R-A-D-E. And then over here we've got some fresh uh, chicken and some gravy to go along with it. And a large, large bread station here, all kinds of dinner rolls to accompany your dinner tonight. Over here we've got some smoked uh, pork chops with like a kind of a marinade sauce with it. And then there's supposed to be some mashed potatoes and pork filet here, but uh, at the moment they're being refreshed. Just over beside me here, we've got some uh, hamburgers and french fries. In through the middle here, we've got all kinds of different like tapas here. And this is sort of like Spanish tapas because we have like a Spanish night tonight with a Spanish flag. So all kinds of different cool tapas here that you can pick. And as you can see, they don't have the name tags here. So uh, you're kind of on your own just taking a look at some of the stuff, but everything looks delicious. There's definitely some, I see this is like mussels here with like a, like a crostini bread. And there's like baguette with like different kind of things on top. So uh, if you feel a little adventurous, you can grab some of this tapas here. Over here, we've got uh, some sauteed cabbage, some cauliflower that's been mixed together with this, like a little white sauce, pasta with seafood. So there's two different styles here, like a, I think a ravioli, or I'm not sure exactly what this one's called, but this is definitely like a penne. Over here, we've got some fresh pizzas, pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, and then uh, kind of like a vegetable pizza. And over here, we've got like a Mexican corner. So we've got all kinds of different stuff kind of hiding away in some of these cubbies here to decorate up some uh, nachos with cheese and then some uh, big uh, tortillas here too and a Mexican sombrero. All right, so over here, I've just snuck in the side here. There's, uh, oh, so right in front of me, there's some uh, baked broccoli. And then over here, there's like some pastas at the back and you can choose some fixings over here. Um, to and they'll actually fry you up like a custom pasta here with a sauce of your choosing. So it's kind of nice here. You get like a little custom dinner here at this buffet. And uh, tips are always uh, encouraged, but not necessary. So if you got a good pasta and you really liked it, you can tip the chef. They made it for you. And then over here we've got a in honor of Spanish night. We've got a paella here that's been uh, kind of like picked over pretty well already. So we got seafood paella, and we've got all kinds of like little frittatas here, like vegetable, cheese, kind of like a. Uh, potato frittata, and they're all decorated really nicely, kind of Spanish style, and there's like a beautiful Spanish flag here. So let's get some love for Spain in the comments. So two more stations to kind of wrap things up here. We've got the uh, desserts now. We've got some all kinds of different like uh, kind of fresh desserts here, uh, baked desserts with sugar, uh, kind of like little uh, pastries or donuts. Here we've got some apple pies, some Dominican co coconut cookies, Oh wow, this looks so good. Oh my gosh, I don't know what these are. It says the pudding with gelatin, cream, milk, and sugar. Kind of cotta. Interesting, it looks delicious. Some of these other desserts here too. We've got some jello, coconut tarts, chocolate uh, little cannellonis. Here's these uh, desserts that I really love here. And then we've got some uh, chocolate with brownies, some more coconut tarts, Dominican cookies, all kinds of yummy stuff here to satisfy your sweet tooth. Just to finish things off here for dessert, we've got the pastry chef's corner. And you can see all kinds of different pastries here that are uh, similar to the ones we just saw, but organized in sort of a kind of fancy way here at the chef's corner. All right, and that's gonna do it then for our video here of the buffet. Hopefully you guys found that helpful in taking a look at some of the stuff that's offered here. If you did, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next.